When searching for a home, I like to equate it to a funnel. So there are thousands of homes for sale on the market, but we aren't going to see all of them in person. One of the first things that we have to do is identify a location. Location is really one of the most challenging pieces for my clients to identify. So my piece of advice is to really go get lost, understand different neighborhoods, go to the coffee shop, go get dinner, go at different times of night, and really explore different neighborhoods to feel the vibe of the area. Once you identify a location, the next steps are really identifying wants and needs. Take a look at your current living space. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Start writing a list of what you actually want in a home and what you truly need in a home. From there, that all goes into the funnel to identify best fit homes based off of your criteria. One of the biggest things that clients share with me is it doesn't look like the pictures. I have many clients who fall in love with online home, but once they get in person, it does not look at all what they thought it would be. And that's okay. That's part of the discovery phase. The more homes we see, the closer we'll get to finding one that is the right fit for you. If you're not finding a home that meets the majority of your location wants and needs, then we have to reevaluate your strategy. That could be identifying what you truly need and maybe letting go of some of the things that you don't actually need, or we might have to make a price adjustment. These are all the different things that an agent will help ask and advise you along the way to ensure you're making an informed decision. What is the buyer roadmap? Essentially, we start with a strategy call. It's a 15 minute call to get to know one another and we understand where you are in the timeline. If you're within three to six months of buying, we then move to a buyer consult, which is a one hour Zoom call where we get into the weeds of buying a home, what it costs, what it looks like, what every step of the way may be. From there, I'll introduce you to a lender to do your financial consultation and get pre-approved. Once you get that pre-approval letter, it's time to start seeing homes. Some buyers find their home on the first day out, and that's normal and absolutely okay, so don't second guess yourself. Other buyers may take some time. It could take a month, two months, and many showings to find the right home. Don't worry about it. We're here along the way to make sure that you're making the right decision and finding a home you're really happy with. Once you find a home, it's time to write an offer. Hopefully, you'll get under contract right away. But in some cases, the seller may submit a counter offer, and you get to choose whether or not you accept those terms. Once you're under contract, I like to say that my role expands to include project management to ensure your earnest money is protected every step of the way. If you have questions about starting your home search, click the link below.